Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another unboxing video and we got an M2 Machines Auto Drivers sealed case of six cars release 73. Uh, this case of course was provided to me, well it wasn't provided to me, this is not my, these are not my cars but uh, my buddy Dicastrum gets these, they get unboxed, I get to get ship them overseas to him. But anyway, he lets me unbox them on my channel. So we're thankful for that. We get to check out what's in here. So sorry for those of you that have heard the story a thousand times, but uh, just have to explain it each time because you never know who's new and watching the channel. Uh, so subscribe. We've got tons of M2 um, unboxing auto driver uh, content, actually quite a bit of it in a playlist and other unboxing as well. As well. Um, so... Let's go ahead and get into this case of six cars. M2 drivers, release 73. Uh, from what I can tell, it is a sealed unit. Um, we might get a chase. We could get lucky and get a chase. And we will find out together here. And we'll also kind of find out. I'll find out what's in here because I, I honestly don't know. M2, you know, I've said this quite a bit too. I don't really collect M2. Um, very much. It's just one of the brands I don't collect much, but I will say the M2 Drivers uh, series is definitely a good one. Um, definitely. Uh, so. All right. Sorry, I had to cut that there just because my son walked into the room. And uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, see what's in here. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm just going to grab them one by one as usual. We're going to just take a peek. All right. So the first one up is, this is Dodge Charger. Uh, the 1966 Dodge Charger 383. Uh, if you're not familiar with these M2 auto drivers, they do have like a release number right here on the base. Uh, makes it easy to identify which release they came from if you keep the bases or if you keep them carded. There you go. Uh, the newer series will have a number of what they are limited to, 8,480 pieces. And typically, you can find these at Walmart. So if you're looking for them at your local store, Walmart's going to be the place to find them um, if you want to do it that way. Or you can just order them from a hobby dealer. Sometimes it's a lot easier just to do that. Carter on this one's pretty cool. Uh, so these are cool because these are going to be more like vintage ad style stuff. We probably should see that across the release. We'll see what happens here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this one's actually really cool looking. Uh, 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Now, they've released this in other colors with the same flame uh, flame going on. And it's always really, really cool looking. This is a Moon Eyes licensed one. So this is a really cool release. If you don't have one of these castings in your collection, I definitely recommend getting it. And get one of these with the flames on it. You'll be satisfied. It looks really cool in person. So I've got one in my collection, <clears throat> and I like it. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite M2s. Um, and then let's see what else we got. Yeah, spam. Not really into the spam licensing. Sizzle pork and mmm, mmm. Not really into it, if I'm honest. Which I try to be. 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429. Casting's all right. It's seen in a lot of different M2 drivers releases. Um, it's got a spam thing on the top. You know, it's a cool spam logo, I guess. It's just, you know, whatever. Spam. Spam. Yeah. Definitely not my cup of tea, but, you know, maybe it's someone else's. All right. <clears throat> Europe. Uh, Pan American World Airlines uh, Ford F100 truck. So this is actually the series is kind of all over the place um, with this the like the licensing. So look at they they just squish the world, make it smaller so you can travel. Or is that supposed to look like an airplane? I'm not sure. It's kind of got you know we got like vintage addish thing going on here, vintage addish thing going on there. More. I don't know, to me, it looks more modern. I don't know, Moon Eyes. And then vintage ad for the actual car. Just kind of a weird, disjointed sort of set here. But, 
This casting also has been released a ton of times in the M2 drivers releases. Uh, so there's a million of them out there if you want to collect this Ford uh, F100 truck. Alright, next up, we got this guy right here, the Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Pretty nifty. And this one looks pretty good. Again, we got kind of vintage uh, artwork here for the Cuda. And that actually looks really cool. Um, we got some graphics going on on the side, but they're not really obnoxious. They actually kind of look neat. So, eh, I kind of like this one. Not bad. Not bad. And then lastly, let's see. Did we score Chase? Is there a Chase in this case? Doesn't look like it. We get this pink Chevy Camaro uh, Z28 RS. And with the pink Chevy. Don't really know. Um, what the deal is with the pink unless it's like was for I don't know breast cancer awareness but uh, there's not that like symbol anywhere in the car it was just a pink Camaro I don't know does this have any significance let me know why is it pink is there was there a pink Camaro that came out do I sound like an idiot I don't know but yeah, I don't know what it's about. See, again, this is just kind of weird. So they made this pink Chevy logo. So the series to me doesn't make sense. And that's, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't have to be themed. But a lot of the times they sort of are for the M2 drivers sets. Um, <clears throat> they don't all follow the same theme, obviously, but they, they differ quite a bit from theme to theme. Uh, this is definitely the winner for me. Uh, this is actually a really nice release of that and then maybe the pink Camaro Those are my top three you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below So we didn't pull a chase again. These are limited to 8,480 pieces You can find them from a hobby dealer that deals in m2 Or you can just fight it out at Walmart if you want to get these because usually the drivers show up and they're gone immediately I've noticed they do sell really well. So all right. Thank you guys very much for watching another episode and you have a great day